na mtazamaji wangu ni fursa nyingine nzuri tu tunakutana hapa kwenye mtandao wako nambari 1 darubini ya siasa hapa Double Vision TV kuna tetezi ambazo mwana blogia ambaye pia ni MCA wa pale kileleshwa mheshimiwa Robert Alai ameweza kuzitoa pale kwenye ukurasa wake wa X ama Twitter akaweza kusema kwamba baadhi ama wale ambao walikuwa wameteuliwa na Rais William Ruto kama eh, CAS ama mawaziri wadogo bado wanazidi kupokea mishahara kutoka kwa serikali ya Kenya na wanaweza kupokea pesa hizo eh, kinyume cha sheria kwa sababu tunafahamu kwamba mahakama mahakama kuu iliweza kutupilia mbali mahakama kuu iliweza kutupilia mbali uteuzi huo na kusema kwamba ni kinyume cha sheria kwa hivyo hawa maafisa ni hamsini walikuwa wameteuliwa pale na inasemekana kwamba baadhi yao wanazidi kupokea mishahara kutoka kwa of, kutoka kwa serikali kinyume cha sheria ningependa kukupeleka pale kwenye Twitter tuweza kuangalia aliyozungumza Robert Alai lakini kabla ni kupeleke pale mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa kukuomba iwe hapo unajiunga na sisi kwa mara ya kwanza bonyeza alama ya subscribe na ukiweza kufanya hivyo basi utakuwa umejishindia nafasi fulani nzuri sana ya kuwa mwanachama wa chaneli hii na pia mpenzi mtazamaji iwapo una matatizo ya kiafya na ungependa kupata pata ushauri wa daktari haswa ambaye anahusika na masuala ya tibu watu kupitia miti shamba basi nitakuelezea hapo meleni vile utaweza kupata huo usaidizi mpenzi mtazamaji aliyazungumza hapa Rob na Robert Alai akasema hivi Millicent Omanga went for Kenya shillings 700,000 pay from state house on Friday Hello President William Ruto why are people employed as CAS and being paid illegally in cash from state house while the courts ruled that the position is unconstitutional can we please operate within the law that's the hard that is what's so hard in just obeying the law why the law why the lawlessness na aliweza ku aliweza ku, kuataja baadhi tu ya wale ambao wanapokea malipo hayo kutoka pale status na mpenzi mtazamaji nitakusomea baadhi ya zile reactions za wananchi pale kwenye twitter na lakini jambo la kwanza ambalo ningependa tulizungumzie hapa ni kwamba hawa ma CAS ambao William Ruto aliweza kuajiri lakini koti kakataa kuna baadhi yao wanazidi kupokea mishahara na hii mishahara ambayo wanaipokea kulingana na tetezi zake Robert Alai ni kwamba wanazipokea tax free in form of cash pale state house mtu anaingia pale state house mwisho wa mwezi anapokea shilingi zake laki saba ama 700000 ni jambo la kutamausha sana na pia wa Kenya hawana furaha manake nilipojaribu kuangalia pale wa Kenya wameweza kukasirika sana na baadhi wameweza kuandika pale na kusema kwamba sio vizuri. Basi mtazamaji wangu iwapo unahitaji usaidizi wa daktari wa miti shamba basi ningependa uweze kuzungumza naye daktari baba bahati kutoka pale Mumias anapatikana pale Mumias nyuma ya Royal Hotel na huyu ni mzaliwa wa Tanzania na amekuwa akizungumziwa kwenye vyombo vya habari hapa nchini Kenya kama daktari wa kuaminika ambaye iwapo o, mtu amekuibia bidhaa zako ama mtu amekukosea ama mtu amekunyanganya shamba pale unataka shamba lako lirudishwe ama labda uko na matatizo ya kiafya haswa nguvu za kiume tunafahamu kwamba eh, ili ni tatizo ambalo limeweza kuwasumbua wanaume wengi sana hapa nchini Kenya na wameweza kuenda madaktari hapa na pale but hawajaweza kupokea hayo matibabu lakini ukienda kuwa kwa baba bahati basi tatizo hili litaweza kuwa limesuluhishwa. Jaribu kushika kwa watu kwa kitu cha mtu yote lazima namba yangu ndio hii kwa nipigie simu. Sio 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 sida peke yake hiyo. Mama hapo uko na biashara hapo kuna mwanaume anakusumbua mambo mingi sana. Wewe piga simu utakushughulikia. Napatikana hapa Mumias karibu na Royal Hotel. Ukifika hapa nipigie simu. 
Na je, iwapo uko mbali na mumia suwezu kafika pale iweje basi utaweza kuzungumza na daktari moja kwa moja kupitia nambari yake ya simu ambayo ni 0794 931650 basi tumeweza kushuhudia ambayo ameweza kuyafanya manake kuna wakati fulani tumeshuhudia mtu ambaye alikuwa amefanya wizi pale na daktari akaweza kumtumia nyuki zikamshika kwa hivyo iwapo uko na matatizo mtu amekuibia basi zungumza na daktari baba bahati na ataweza kuhakikisha kwamba bidhaa zako zimerudishwa na yule ambaye amekuibia basi ataweza kuvamiwa na nyuki na aweze kusema kwamba bidhaa nilizo nazo sio zangu aweza kukurejeshea basi zungumza na daktari na ataweza kukusaidia kwenye matatizo yako shukrani nilikuwa nilikuwa nikamleta hapa nikamcha mtengereza kila kitu iko sawa sasa hiyo ipue funzo kwa watu wengine ukijaribu kushika kwa watu kwa kitu cha mtu yote lazima namba yangu ndio hii kwani nipigie simu si baadhi tu ya zile reactions za wananchi pale eh, kuna huyu anafahamika kama chipo mwitu anasema that tax payers money being chewed like nonsense mwingine anajiita kama ngangawa upwa mugaga wa upwa alisema hivi self proclaimed bishop wanjiru will be preaching in her church today knowing very well she is receiving illicit money from the government mlango wa nyuma sibor akasema hivi and you wonder why every other race don't like africans we are miles off from being at the level of upright societies Boaz na akasema hivi Boaz Keino akasema hivi hii udaku ya umama pale soko ya Ongwaro wachana nayo mwingine anaitwa Charles akaweza kusema hivi I term these allegations as baseless with no tangible evidence rubbish alafu eh, mwingine akaweza kusema hivi Rafael Tuju earned an illegal salary for 10 years as CS without portfolio These political mischief are being inherited and the youths and the youths we need to do away with all these people. And then kuna mwingine anaita eh, Dr. Maxilo anasema hivi as long as the government owns and supervises corruption and stealing we will never move an inch in terms of development. This is a piling and shameful of an administration that keeps on preaching water and taking wine at night. Okio mtata, kazi kwako. You are our savior. Kwa hivyo huyu anamlilia Okio mtata akimwambia kwamba jaribu kurutetea manake wewe ndio mwokozi wetu. Nyamori nyamori anasema hivi. Someone getting paid 700,000 in cash when another Kenyan is earning a partly 10000 is subject to taxes i wish you never posted this you have no idea how heartbroken i am this is william ruto bwana never joke with the doyen kotini ibaki hapo tu imesimamisha if miss ya treasury but ruto knows how to maneuver no evidence of payment here just list of names aya mwingine anajiita kama mjukuu wa maumau anasema hawa walikuwa tu wachukue serikali waibe kila kitu wabebeshe wa Kenya taxes na wajilipe pesa yenye walifanyia campaign aki Mungu second term wataionea vyu sasa wapende wasipende afadhali tukae tu bila serikali na Tarimbo anasema hivi Kenyans have the opportunity in 2022 to define their destiny your leaders are a reflection of you because you are the owners who are the ones who put them there where's ESCC in this matter or bado wako kwa barabara chasing traffic police officers george meroka anasema hivi how can this be going on unless this is a lawless jungle and not a country governed by the rule of law 
they will one day be forced to return that money and Ruto won't be there to protect them. Mpesa mtazamaji nafikiri umeweza kusikiza ghadhabu ya wakenya kila mkenya pale analalamika kuhusiana na suala hili zima lakini pia kuna baadhi tu ambao nimeona kwamba hawakubaliana na Robert Alai na tuna kubali kwamba hii ni kawaida manake mahali popote kuna mjadala lazima kuna wale ambao wanaunga na kuna wale ambao wanapinga lakini iwapo tetezi za muheshimiwa Robert Alai za ukweli basi huu ni wizi wa hali ya juu na unafaa kukemewa unafaa kukemewa kabisa kabisa hapa nchini Kenya kwa sababu tunafahamu kwamba uchumi wetu unazidi kuharibika lakini kuna watu wanazidi kupokea na uenda madai haya ya Robert Alai ni ya ukweli kwa sababu Rais William Ruto ameonekana mara si moja akiweza kutofautiana na mahakama na kusema kwamba yeye atazidi kuendelea mbele kufanya kile ambacho alikuwa amekipanga hata kama mahakama imekataa tunashangaa hizi pesa ambazo wanazipokea wanazipokea kwa kufanya kazi gani kwa sababu tunafahamu kwamba hawa ma CS hawako kwenye ofisini. Mpenzi mtazamaji nashukuru sana kwa kuweza kunitazama na iwapo ungependa kutangaza biashara yako na sisi basi e, wasiliana nasi kupitia nambari ambayo nimeiweka pale kwenye comment section uweza kuwasiliana nami basi tutakuwa tunakutangazia biashara yako kwa njia shwari. Asanteni sana. Mimi ni Don.